Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we took down the 5th gym leader, Chuck, and we got ourselves the Storm Badge. And we also had a really close call with the two new team members on the team. And that is Coleslaw, the Corsola, and Roast, the Machamp. Now, I've been asked several questions by several of you on what really determines what a Pokemon should get a boss stamp. Now, if you're unfamiliar, a boss stamp is something I get my Pokemon when they pull through in some particularly extreme way. And it's kind of like Maryland's um, Bro Badges. That's where I got it from. I just wanted to change the name and make it a little bit different and do my own thing with it. And throughout Platinum, nobody's really gotten any. And, if, and just to point, to point out for the episode, right now we're at least going into the Union Cave and going through the areas that we can with Surf now. It's really only the Union Cave for now. We'll probably make it to Mahogany Town too. This is a pretty short area. Alright, let me spray up a Super Repel real quick. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, throughout Platinum, nobody really got one. There was only a couple extreme times. And maybe my thought process behind this is a little bit too extreme. Maybe I should make it so it doesn't have to be that insane. I don't know. It's a really silly concept. I can see why some people don't like it. But the reason I'm pointing this out is because a lot of people in the comments are pointing out that Gumbo should have a boss stamp. And you know what? Gumbo has pulled through in quite a few different ways. And I, I agree with you guys. I really do think Gumbo deserves one. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and give it to her. So Gumbo is going to go ahead and get one of these. Like a mouse. And not only that, but there's another Pokemon on the team that deserves a boss stamp and he hasn't been here very long but roast saved his life yesterday well the last episode it's been like a week since i recorded that roast saved his life with the quick claw and you know what i didn't really think about it in that moment but roast deserves one as well and with that being said i'm gonna try and be a little bit more lenient with them uh, just let me know what you guys think would determine it. Normally, I determine it by, like, really extreme situations. Like, if you've not seen Platinum, go watch the episode where we fought Candace. Just do it. That is what determines a boss stamp to me. But we can be a little bit more lenient, because the Pokemon that were there forever in Platinum didn't have any at the end of the game, and that was really unfortunate. So, anyways, uh, I actually wanted Coleslaw to be up front. I put Roast up front just to do that real quick. But... Uh, with that being said, those are the first two boss stamps of the series, which is cool. So I'm going to fight this guy, and I'm going to go over a couple other things that was brought up to me. Uh, the second thing is Rock Blast. I am very wrong with how, well, how I was describing the move Rock Blast. I said Hustle makes its accuracy go down to 80% always. I was wrong. I was thinking about something else. I don't remember what I was thinking about, but... Uh, it doesn't make your AD go down. No, your ac accuracy go down to 80%. It makes your accuracy go down 20%. Meaning the accuracy for Rock Blast is somewhere around 70% with the wide lens. Which, granted, is pretty terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and replace Rock Blast with, this, uh, with a special attack as soon as I can. That was brought to my attention. A lot of people pointed it out, so I can't really credit one direct person. But I was, I was told that I was very wrong with Rock Blast, so... That's that. And then one more thing I want to go over is a viewer who doesn't have a YouTube account and um, couldn't can't subscribe to me because they don't have a YouTube account watches very frequently. They watch all my episodes, they told me, and they really like my videos. And they were wondering how they could submit fan art. Now, I've never really given a direct way to submit fan art. And since we're, our channel is growing, there will be somebody other than just uh, Invisible Resolve submitting fan art for once. And... I, I know that's going to come up, so I kind of want to make it clear on how to submit it. So it doesn't really come up anymore. I'm sure it'll still come up because people obviously might not see this episode. But the way I'm thinking fan art is going to be a thing is we can... Um, you can either submit it on Twitter to me. You can find my Twitter in the description of every video. And you can also email it to me. Which my business email for YouTube is on my channel in the about section, I believe. So you can find that there. And I also do have a Deviant Art. You can send it to me over there. It's Chroma LPs, I believe, just like my YouTube channel. So 
you can do that as well. Those are the three ways that you can submit fan art. And I accept it all, always. And it would mean the world to me if you do. You don't have to by any means, but I do really like receiving it. And so far, there's only ever been two people that sent me fan art. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to grab the dowsing machine now. And we can actually grab ourselves a big mushroom on this rock. I guess these rocks have a fungi problem. Uh, is there anything else? There is, actually. There is one up there. I grabbed that one right here. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's go right here. Grab a nugget. That's really good. All nuggets are very appreciated. Chicken and gold. Uh, no, but the nuggets are good because money's hard to come by in this game. Now, I'm not going to do the puzzle here because doing the puzzle here is just going to make me get unknown. So I'm going to leave. I'll probably do these after I get Natu or Smeargle. And I would love Smeargle. I like... I don't really like Zatu, I'll be straight up honest. Uh, I want Smeargle just because it's really different, but we have to go the other way to get that. So, uh, I'll probably never come back here, so I'll try and scout with the Dowsing Machine. I'm going to do Dowsing Machine off screen most of the time, but since I'll probably not be back here, I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys while we're here. At least try to. I'm tr I'm trying to remember where you can get Lapras at. I'm, I know I can't get it, but I'm trying to remember where that part of the cave is at. I think I'll have to go back a little bit. I think I missed it. I'm not exactly sure. What do you... Okay, I was going to ask Coleslaw what she had to say about this, but I guess I didn't fight this guy yet. So let's see what this Hiker Man's all about. Let's see. Hiker Man Philip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my fill of some Geodude right here. All right, Coleslaw. Uh, the level limit's 34, I think. We should be good. Yeah, level limit's not going to be a problem for a while, I hope. Uh, we've got a lot of trainers to fight before we fight Price, so... And the level limit after Price is 35, so... Really, actually, I think Jasmine I should fight first. I don't remember, I'll have to check. I might pass the level limit on accident at some point. Because I remember Price and Jasmine are one level apart. I just don't remember what one comes first exactly. Uh, I know you're supposed to fight Jasmine first... But I think how it was is Price's level is lower by one. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, don't worry about commenting it. I'll check out before. Well, I'll check it out before I even get to that point. So, what do you have to say about this cave, Coleslaw? You are the most adorable Pokemon that I've ever had follow us. Like, she's just so adorable. This little Corsola is the cutest thing. Ah, uh, is this the right way? Yeah, this is going to take me to Natu and Smeargle, if I recall. Which is fine. Uh, I would love Smeargle, like I said. Probably not going to happen, but it is a 10% chance. Natu is a 90% chance. But, you know, we, you never know. I could get a Smeargle. That'd be really cool. But since I want it, I'm not going to get it. But if I didn't want it, I would get it. So here we are. We are at the Ruins of Alf. I haven't gotten my encounter here yet. I've actually run into a ton of Geodude here, but since we already had Geodude, it didn't count when I was rock smashing rocks for berries. So... We do got our encounter here. Uh, I don't want to fight it with either of these guys. Let's fight it with Papa Dumb, as always. And I guess we would have Glare on our Smeargle if we got a Smeargle. So, there's that. What do you have to say about this, Papa Dumb? I know I just ruined a phone call with somebody. I think it was Wade. I don't know. I just caught that out of the corner of my eye. So, my encounter for the Ruins of Half at last is going to be... Oh, not to. I figured. But I guess you could say that's not too bad. Anyways, I know. Old joke is old. Alright, so it's level 22. Not bad. It'll evolve. Pre <laughs> not bad. Uh, yeah, you, you get it. So, it's not gonna... Oh, synchronize. Well, that's good! It would, I guess I'd rather have synchronize than whatever else it could have. And it's me first. Isn't going to work out really well for it. So, um, Rock Smash is gonna do, like, no damage at all. So I should be fine doing that. And I know we're not gonna crit, so... That's great. Lucky Chance, really helpful. Uh, we have it on our... Oh my god, I'm so glad that was not a shiny Natu. I'd cried. I didn't know they learned to teleport. 
Well, we get nothing here. That's unfortunate. Oh, man. You know, I said I didn't like Zatu. But I wouldn't mind using a Zatu. Like, uh, whatever. Bree, destroy this psychic guy. I know we're paralyzed and Papa Dumb, it don't matter. What do you have to say, Bree? We're in the dark here. What do you have to say about this? Bree is gazing around restlessly. Oh, man. I'm so mad right now. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. You know what? I'm going to heal the paralysis just in case this girl's got something that can kill Bree. You can't be too safe. We have plenty of paralyzed heals. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, man. I'm so sorry for your ears if that was loud. But, oh, man. I'm so mad right now. Not to. I didn't know they teleported. That's so stupid. My luck, they get teleported level 22. And that one was level 22. Oh, man. He's got a giraffe rig. That's actually pretty strong at this point. What's a surf? Shouldn't be too bad. Psybeam could do a lot of damage. But Bree should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. All right, surf's up. Take that, giraffe rig. Yeah, I guess you could say that's pretty rigged. Yeah? <laughs> no, that's pretty terrible. But anyways, yeah. All right, Psybeam. No big deal. You're nothing to me, giraffe rig. Bree will destroy you. And I actually, the last um, two episodes ago, like I recorded last week's episodes in one day. So I haven't recorded for like a week. And I don't know how I like doing this, but uh, one of the episodes, the question of the day is, who is my, who is your favorite teammate that I've used so far? And surprisingly, a lot of people said Gumbo, which was shocking to me. Like, I love Gumbo, but I figured everybody would say Papa Dumb. I, I think more people said Gumbo than Papa Dumb, which was mind-blowing to me, to be honest. Oh, this is Ho-Oh. We need to bring Ho-Oh here to get that. So, good luck with that. Um, do I dare? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll do a puzzle on screen for you guys. I'm pretty good at puzzles. And word searches and crosswords and stuff like that. Not that neither of those things have anything to do with this, but I suppose I'll try and solve the puzzle on screen so you guys can make fun of me because of how terrible I am at it. I actually think this is the top right one. Well, the top left one, you know what I'm saying. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, I'm already messing up. This is just fantastic. I'm trying to be... Like that guy that's all like, I'm pretty good at puzzles. And then I do good at it, and it's like, see, I told you I was good at puzzles. But no, I'm going to be that guy, oh, I'm good at puzzles. Oh, you said you were good at puzzles. You're, you, you suck. Chroma, you're garbage. Why do you make videos? I'm surprised that you've not quit. Yeah, so I'm doing it, though. Ain't that good? Are you proud of me, guys? I'm going to do it. I'm just trying to talk because it's kind of hard to commentate over doing a puzzle. But I did it. I think this is right. Um... <laughs> I think this is right. Take two. Take two. There. Okay, now we do it. I got it, guys. Did I just put that back the same way it was? Um. Oh, I got this. I got this. Don't worry about me. I got the puzzle. No, I know what I'm doing. Believe me. You no, know, I know what I'm doing. I promise. I know, I, know, I know what I'm doing. I mean it. I promise. I'm not bad at this. I know it doesn't doesn't look like it, but I can solve puzzle. Yeah, see, I told you I could solve puzzle. You guys don't give me enough credit. You probably are like, this guy is so dumb. But no, I solved the puzzle, and this proves that that's the first one I did because. I didn't do it the last time because I could have got unknown as my Pokemon. And you know what? Unknown probably would have been a lot better than nothing. So. No, probably not. I probably would have never used it. It would have been cool to try to use, but uh, I would have been a lost cause for sure. See, I'll probably run into a shiny unknown and want to quit the game. But no, we made it out without it running in anything. So there's that. Yeah, that's Ruins of Elf. I guess I'll see you guys at our next destination. Oh, hey! It's the camera guy! Hello, that's when you least expect it. I am Cameron, the photographer. You look so photogenic. Why don't you make sure I can... All right, then get yourselves ready. All right, we got, we got, we got the team. Yeah, everybody's all pretty looking. Yeah, it's a nice picture. You can see it in your PC if you want. I'm a horrible person. Oh, all right, guys, back in the Union Cave. Uh... You might be wondering, why are you back here? You just did everything in Union Cave. Well, young lad, you have not played these video games before. I don't think anybody might, might would have said that. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot more you can do in the Union Cave that I haven't even 
done. Yeah, so if you come over if you come over here, yeah, this is the right way. I know what I'm doing. I think. I, at least I try. If you come down here, there is a little staircase. Yeah, there you go. So there are a lot of trainers down here. And uh, this guy, he has a lick of tongue, I think. I think. Yeah, we should be able to fight him. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. Leave! I tried to think of a Pokemon that started with B-R-I-T, but I couldn't. Leave Bree alone! Eh? Nah. Yeah, I get it. It's good. All right, surf's up, Bree. Leave Bree alone. Oh man, Bree's weak. I didn't even realize that. Oh my. Oh, that could have been bad. I thought Bree was fully healed. Oh man, that was a Marowak too. That's terrifying. Uh, what else is up? Another Marowak. Okay, two Marowak. I like Andrew's style. If you don't know me, I enjoy me a Marowak. So let's surf's up. Destroy! Destroy! What? Destroy this Marowak! Thank you very much, Bree. That could have ended pretty badly if it was something that I didn't take out in one hit. Oh man, I'm, I'm risking Bree's life! I didn't realize that she was half dead. That's... that's terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and give her a Moo Moo Milk. Because, you know, milk a day keeps the doctor away. Wait, that's not... that's not the right saying. That's an apple a day. Yeah. I guess, I guess you could say I didn't fall far from the tree. That was terrible. I'm so sorry. All right. We go over here and grab an item on this thing, I think. No? Well, don't listen to me, guys. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Let's grab the dowsing machine now. Yeah, this is actually taking a while. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get to Mahogany Town today. My dogs are being horrible people. I have, like, my evolution plushes up on, up on a stand, and the dog's trying to pull it down because he's horrible. This is the one with the lick of tongue. I came all the way here to conduct my research. Let me demonstrate my findings in a real battle. Oh, so you've never really had a battle before. You just, what you want, what is the difference between a real and a not battle? Calvin, he has a Kangaskhan. Oh, watch out, guys. It's about to get real. All right, let's go for Surf. Uh, unfor unfortunately for us, Kangaskhan is not a powerhouse. <laughs> it does not have a mega evolution in this game. Because there were no such things as Mega Evolutions. It's still pretty tanky, but Rage isn't really... Ooh, Dizzy Punch could be a problem, actually. So, hopefully it doesn't confuse... Wow, holy crap! That did some damage! That's terrifying! Okay, it's just going to use Rage. It's, it's stupid, it's derping, it's doing stupid things. Oh, man. Alright, serve up on this Kangaskhan. My dog, Sucky, likes to lay on my mouse pad, and he just laid and moved my mouse and it almost closed out my capture card and I would have been pretty salty about that one. That would have been a pretty good coincidence though. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know where I was going with that one. Anyways, thanks for fighting Calvin Harris. Alright, Calvin Klein, whatever you want to call him. You know, anyways, he's... <laughs> I'm gonna go down underwear. Wherever this takes me. <laughs> it's, 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 it's terrible. All right, let's go for a Moo Moo Milk on this Brie. On this Brie. I don't know. That sounds like it'd be a, it'd be a Brie, a big it'd be a problem. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and look. Anything interesting down here? Let's turn on the run thingy so I can use the dowsing machine. And I know there's somebody down here with Ivysaur, Wartortle, and Charmeleon. All in one battle. That's going to be kind of a problem. I should be able to handle them, though. That's that person, I think. Uh, I'm pretty good. All right. Let's see. What's up here? This is an elixir. So, I was going to make a bad joke there. All right. Um, let's see. I need to go ahead and spray up a repel, but I don't think I don't. I don't think I have any. And if I have to cut out a wild battle every time, I'm going to be pretty salty. It looks like what we're going to have to do. So, either I'm not going to cut out wild battles or I'm... I'm going to cut out wild battles. Okay, so there are gold ba gold bat in this cave, and that's going to be a real problem. So what we're going to do is put Papa Dumb up front. Bree did take a little bit of beating. Why do I put Papa Dumb up front? Because Papa Dumb, well, can run away from anything. So let's go ahead and do that. Give, give that potion to Bree, because she took a little bit of beating in that fight against gold bat. Really, not any beating. He kind of just astonished me a little bit. And, well, I guess you could say that astonished me. But anyways... Uh, Alfred's calling. What does Alfred have to say? This is Alfred Evening. How are you doing? You know whenever I try to get to Wild Pokemon, they always seem to run away. It happens so many times. A couple days ago, a Raditza got away from me. <laughs> Sounds like this guy's playing Pokemon Go. Now, I haven't really played much Pokemon Go, but I'm like, i curious what you guys think about it. 
Um, I played a little bit of it, and it's kind of cool. I opened it up in Walmart one time, and to my surprise, there was a Tauros standing right in front of me. And it ran away from me, and I was kind of salty. Because in my town, if you open up the little thing that says how many what Pokemon are nearby, it says Rattata. That's it. So, <laughs> when I saw Tauros, I was pretty stoked, but I did, unfortunately did not get it. So, I'm going to fight this girl with Roast. I'm pretty sure this is the girl with a Charmeleon and a war turtle and an ivysaur so let's see what roast has to say about fighting this girl this is your second battle dude what do you have to say about it roast man oh, all right oh, stupid wild battle all right let's fight this girl let's see what she has i'm pretty sure it's the kanto starters i'm in training care for a round well sure you can spin me right round and me right round all right gwen oh she has four pokemon oh snap an eevee oh wow that's that's pretty interesting. All right, let's fight it with Roast. Karate chop its face off. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Goodbye, Eevee. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you had no chance. Yeah. Awesome job, Roast. And she has a... F oh, my Lord. She has the Eeveelutions. That's scary. <laughs> All right, let's have Coleslaw do some tag team. Come on back, Roast. Let's go, Coleslaw. Oh, man. Coleslaw should be able to prove herself here by taking out this Flareon. Unfortunately, it is the worst of the evolutions. And it's only level 22, so... I don't expect it to have that strong of attacks. This is no Kimono Girl fight or anything. So, yeah. Coleslaw took that down no problem. Uh, I'm not really worried about the other two evolutions. We should be fine. And up next up is going to be a Jolteon. I figured as much. Come on back, Coleslaw. Let's go roast. Why don't you roast the competition? Eh! I need to give Roast Flamethrower just so I can make puns. <laughs> I might, because Roast can learn Flamethrower. I know I'm going to be slower, so I might as well revenge here. It's going to do a decent chunk of damage to me, but we should be good to swipe it down with our nice revenge. That should do 120 power? I think it doubles. I'm not 100% sure. It might. It might just go up to like 90. Not exactly sure. I might put it in the video if I remember. I don't know. But Roast is going to grow to level 30, which is sweet. And next up is Vaporeon. Now, it probably only has Water Gun, so Revenge should be fine. It can't knock me out at this stage. Yeah, here comes the Water Gun. No problem. At least they gave them their attacks instead of having Quick Attack or something silly. I know Vaporeon has a lot of hit points, but we should be good. Yeah, nice job, Roast. I'm really liking Roast and Coleslaw together. I know somebody in the comments pointed out that Roast and Coleslaw are a really strange pair to see a big Machamp and a little tiny Corsola together. But you know what? They work, and that's really cool. Alright, I'm going to put Papa Dumb back up front. I think we're Papa Dunn here, but that should be alright. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's use a Moo Moo Milk on Roast. Actually, I think the person that's next has the Kanto starters. That sounds more like it. Alright, is there anything around here? There is actually. Let's see. What's up here? Uh, there is a Nugget, I'm gonna guess. A Calcium. So, almost as good as a Nugget. It's 4,900 Poké Dollars right there. Alright, anything else? There is something else down here. Uh, I believe that trainer's right down here, so let's be careful. Alright, this is an Ultra Ball, so that might be helpful one day. Okay, we don't want to fight this girl with Papa Dumb. I, I don't know, Papa Dumb could probably pull it off, but I don't really trust him. Um, let's see... Roast and Coleslaw were what I was going to use, so we might as well do the same here. It'll outspeed Roast almost all the time, and we can just go ahead and revenge him. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, no big deal. Let's see what Roast has to say about this. Roast, you're holding something? Of course. You probably don't like me enough. You're not going to let me have it. You're going to be mad, aren't you? No, Roast is going to give it to me. Well, thanks, buddy. It's going to give me an eerie thing. <laughs> what? Here! I crumb, I love you! Have this eerie thing! It's eerie. <laughs> oh, boy, Roast. <laughs> Why would you give me an eerie thing? That's that's not nice. Oh, Emma has a Poliwhirl. Why was I thinking they had the Kanto starters? Poliwhirl's actually kind of scary. Oh, uh, it's going to be faster than me. It's not going to hit me, which is unfortunate. And it's going to set up a rain dance. I'm not a big fan of that one right there. Uh, it's going to do a lot of damage to me. But we should be okay to knock it out with a Karate Chop. Or I'm going to use... Re I'll use Karate Chop. Bubble Beam, that's going to do a lot of damage. I don't have the most special defense. And it's boosted by the rain. Yeah, we're fine. Karate Chop and take out this Poliwhirl. 
Great job, Roast. Oh, man. What would an eerie thing look like? I don't understand. Like, what do you... What? <laughs> That's so strange. Oh, man, Roast. I don't know what to think about you anymore, buddy. Like, uh, you just... I, 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 <laughs> what? Whatever, Roast. You're pretty cool, I suppose. <laughs> an eerie thing. Oh, my. I just... Trying to picture what that would look like. Like, there's no description. Oh, okay, so there isn't really anything else here. I'm pretty sure this is where you get... Oh, I... This is where you get Lapras on Fridays, but it's not Friday. And this is the end of the dungeon. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use an escape rope, get out of here, and I will see you guys at our next destination. Okay, guys, here we are in Ecruteak City. I even got Roast out front. Man, I'm really starting to like Roast a lot. I already really like Machamp, and he is building a character with me for sure. I can just picture this big, big Machamp with, like, a ditto face. You know, like, the weird ditto faces, and, like, this big look about him with this big derpy look. And he's just like, Hey, Grandma, I love you so, so much. I'll see you eerie soon. And like, that's how I picture him sounding. I forgot to buy repels. Hi, lady. Do you have super repels for my friend Chroma here? I am the champ, and I buy repels for him. Okay, guys, I went and bought some repels. Actually, I think Roast bought those repels for me. But, uh, we're not actually gonna go through Mount Mortar to get to, uh, Mahogany Town. Actually, we'll go back through there after we're done here. But I do want to go ahead and surf over here because there is some different things that you can do here. Actually, no. Uh, I don't have Cut with me, so I can't do the Sweet Coon event. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go inside Mount Mortar. Uh, we already got the items here when we were actually catching Roast, so... What we can do. Oh, how does it feel to be back home, buddy? It sounds nice. I like this is so waterfall. All right, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that roast. I'm glad. Um, so we already got most of the items that we can get as of right now, but there is a trainer that we can fight. Ooh, we can actually go this way. I didn't know that. I, I, roast, I need your help. Can you use strength here? Sure thing, buddy. I will go big. All right, great. Let's go up this way. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I think there's a couple things that we can grab. Let's actually grab my stylus. I suppose I'll do my best to grab the hidden items here. Uh, I'll turn on the run thingy. Oh, yeah, there is some things. So, first up is a max repel. So, that'll be pretty helpful. Uh, okay, let's see. Anything else? Oh, man. I don't see anything, but there is an item up here. And this item is an ultra ball. So, that'll be really helpful. Uh, I don't have to buy any, which is nice. They are pretty expensive. And I did sell the two nuggets that I had to buy 20 super repels there. So we're about, we're up to $33,000, which is pretty great. I sold the Stardust that I had too, so that's why we have a little bit more than we started with. Okay, we can grab a max potion right here. And there is another hidden item to this way. I just gotta find it. Uh, stupid repels wear off all the time. I normally cut myself, um, no I don't. <laughs> That sounds terrible. I normally cut out me putting up a repel, but um, there's really no reason to in this game. Like, I don't know. It's just extra unnecessary cuts. It doesn't take that long in the long run. Oh, okay, and then something else I wanted to talk about is I never realized since before this another nugget. That's just fantastic. I love them. Uh, <laughs> we gonna get a 20 piece or something? Like, Nah, just a 10-piece. But, anyways, uh, there's somewhere we can use Rock Climb. I, I'm distracted. I've never realized before this playthrough how much I love the music in Johto. Like, every piece of music in this game is incredible. Like, I forgot how much it meant to me. It's been so long since I've done a solid playthrough of Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Oh, okay, I think this guy is actually not a trainer. But, if he is, we'll fight him. I'm pretty sure he has a slow poke, which I suppose would be bad, but we'll fight him. We'll see. All right, guy, what's up? Hey, <laughs> my name is not Hugh. We're not going to get into Hugh for like two series. Super nerd Marcus, he does have a slow poke. Well, that's just dandy. So is that loud noise outside of my house, but you know, you can't do anything about it. This slow poke's level 19. 
I would have switched, but it's level 19. It can't knock me out in one hit. So I'm just going to go for strength and knock it out with that. So there's really no reason to switch into Coleslaw for this. Yeah, I didn't take it out. It's going to use Curse. Not that big of a deal. It could have been a problem. But come on, guys. It's level 19. This Slowpoke is no longer in existence. Oh, man. Roast is extremely growing on me right now. Like, Machamp is a great Pokemon, especially with no guard. But I didn't think Roast would mean this much to me. Like, I've used Machamp before, but he is really, really cool. Probably because of that voice I gave him. I'm going to use that voice all the time. So if you don't like it, get used to it because it sounds hilarious to me. Okay. Speaking of Roast, we are going to have to retire him for a minute after we go up here and grab this item. But that guy um, that we didn't fight yet is a guy he has yeah of course he's a guy uh we can grab a revive right here that's useless but that's some money i suppose which makes it not useless but what i'm saying what i'm trying to say is we need to fight that guy with coleslaw because he has a nido king and a nido queen so and they're pretty low level so it's not really that big of a deal i'm actually gonna fight him with papa Dub no i'm not they have double kick we're good well you know what i mean let's just fight him <laughs> It's not that big of a deal. I'm not losing this time. Well, you've not lost to me ever. So, technically, that's a pretty bold statement, Harrison. Hey! You're Brock's last name. Yeah! Alright, let's go ahead and use Surf on this little Nido King here. It's only level 17, so... It's not really going to be a threat to us. Cold Slosh should be able to make quick work of that. Yeah, of course. And same with the Nido Queen. So, I probably should have fought this guy a long time ago. I just didn't, and I, I know I could have. I was just kind of worried about it, to be quite honest with you. Nido King and Nido Queen are pretty scary, and even at this point in the game, my team was about level 25, so it's not that big of a deal. We're just gonna wipe them down with coleslaw, and that's all I have to say about that. He's pretty easy. I could have just skipped him, but I don't want to do that. I don't really skip trainers ever, as you guys know. So let's put Papa Dumb up front because uh. We're going to get a Pokemon here in a minute. And Papa Dumb's pretty low leveled, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, I know one of the Pokemon that I can get is Fighting type, so uh, we're going to want to be careful about that. But I can switch out Debris and we should be good, so let's grab out the Dowsing Machine one more time. And, oh, I turned that off for some reason. Um, yeah, actually that item down there you have to have Rock Climb to get, so... We'll be back here way later in the game. Actually, probably not. I'll probably never go to places now that we can use Rock Climb. Just not something I tend to do. So, here we are on Route 42, and we can get a new Pokemon here. It'll most likely be a Diglett. But you can get Diglett and Mankey here in Heart Gold. So, I'm going to get my encounter, and we're, let's see what we get. Not a Zubat. We don't have a Zubat. We don't have a Golbat or a Crobat. But, because of my previous game clause, we cannot use this Zubat. So, this Zubat does not count. Oh, okay, I didn't actually say it, but my encounter for Route 42 is going to be... A Flaffy! Okay, then. Uh, I know somebody's going to be very happy about this one. I'm not that person. I hate Ampharos. I hate Ampharos bad. But, there might be a time and point that this Flaffy is the best member for the team. So, let's go ahead and catch it. I'm not sure if I can paralyze it, but I should be able to, yeah. I don't think you can paralyze electric types in 6th generation. I might be wrong. But, you can as of right now. And, I'm not really happy about Flaffy. I would have preferred a Diglett. I love Diglett. I love Mankey. I don't like Flaffy. But, hey, that's what happens. So, let's throw a Love Ball at it. Maybe we'll get it in a cute little Love Ball. I know they don't work. It's just like a Pokeball, but we'll try our hardest to try and get it. One, two. No, of course not. I will never catch something in a Love Ball. This game doesn't like me. Sure, it's still going to be the same thing as a Love Ball. I just want to try and get it in something different. I always like to use the different Pokeballs from Kurt. One, two. Of course not. Why would I ever get lucky with catching something? Flaffy, you're a nerd. Well, you're nerds, I suppose. <laughs> Anyways, let's just throw an Ultra Ball at it. It's yellow. It'll catch it most likely. And it'll fit an Ampharos, I suppose. So, what? You shake twice for a Pokeball? Whatever. I have to keep throwing Pokeballs. I can't weaken it, as I said. Let's try another Ultra Ball. I don't want to waste an Ultra Ball. Let's throw a Great Ball. Uh, 
this is gonna be a joke. I mean, I like to give all Pokemon a chance. I wouldn't run from it, but I like to. <laughs> Uh, I don't hate Amphrost that bad. Yeah, I do. I really do. Don't, don't. <laughs> yes, I do. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't hate any Pokemon except Amphrost. So, there's a big backstory by it. And I guess I can go over the backstory. I am a person that heavily dislikes overused Pokemon. And Amphrost is the iconic overused Pokemon to me. Anybody that's ever played Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you can't tell me you've not used Amphrost at the beginning of the game. Everybody does it, and it makes me sick. I'm the only person that probably can say, well, like amongst my group of friends, that I don't use Ampharos at the start of the game. I can't stand the thing, and that is why. But maybe using one in a Nuzlocke or Wedlock will change my opinion on it one day. We'll see. And maybe this one will be that Pokemon, but as of right now, I can't catch the thing. Because it won't get in the ball, because I can't weaken it. Corsola is not going to happen again. Oh no, come on, get in the ball, Flaffy. I can't do this. Ah! This is a joke. Just get in the heavy ball. <laughs> I don't think you're heavy whatsoever. But, you know, it'd be cool. One, two, three. Alright, we got it in the heavy ball. My favorite Pokeball of all time. Maybe that'll make me like it a little bit more. So, we have Flaffy... The Flaffy. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a name for it. Yeah, I was gonna name it Mutton, but I don't like that word. So I'm gonna get a nickname for it, and I'll be right back. Oh, Alright, guys, I'm gonna give this thing a weird nickname. Not because I don't like it, but I am gonna nickname it after a food that I physically can't stand. And that is going to be... Tuna Salad. Now, I love tuna, don't get me wrong. But anything that is a salad, like potato salad and tuna salad and stuff like that, the cold salads that you get at like a barbecue, oh my god, I cannot eat that crap. That is my least favorite food of all time. I will never touch a salad. I cannot stretch it enough. Stretch it enough. I cannot stress it enough. Like, I like a regular salad, like with lettuce, I'll try, I'll try that. But not the cold salads that you get at like a picnic or a barbecue or something. Oh my god. Never. It won't happen. My dad does not understand. He'll make them. He makes the best potato salad in the world, everybody says. I don't believe him because he's saying he can't cook. But, <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear this, dad. You can cook. I, you can, trust me. No, you can't. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, I know. I'll never eat them. So, I'll name my least favorite Pokemon of all time after my least favorite food of all time. That sounds fitting. So... There's a couple more trainers to fight before we end off the episode. God, I hate mayonnaise, too. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> let's get into this. My mom's standing at the fridge, holding a thing of mayonnaise. I should have named it mayonnaise! Mayo salad. Mayo salad, what? All right, I might rename it to mayonnaise. That sounds like a better name than tuna salad. Yeah, I'm going to rename it to mayonnaise. So, yeah, there, there we have it. That's my least favorite food. It's not even a food, it's a dressing. Whatever, let's fight this guy. He has a quillfish. I know that by heart, so we should be good. Fisherman Tully, he does have a quillfish. And this is actually the guy that'll call you for a water stone. Papa Dumb is paralyzed. That's great. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Not minimized. No. Papa Dumb, you better hit. Okay, good. That should knock it out. Yep. Oh, you gotta be joking me. One hit point? You gonna do this to me, quillfish? Don't do it, Quillfish. It's not a game. Quillfish! You got- Oh my god! Roll out! Thank you, Papa Dumb! It might be level 19, but that could have killed us! Oh my god! Minimize rollout? Are you kidding me? I was not ready for that one. Holy crap. That's not right, Tully. You said it a mouthful. You make me mad, Tully. That's just messed up. I can't believe you'd do that to me. That's dirty, Tully. Man. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, off-screen I will rename that Flaffy to uh, Mayonnaise, by the way, guys. If it'll fit. I don't know if Mayonnaise is ten letters. Uh, mayo. That'll do it. Mayo will work. Okay. Um, I know this next guy has Diglett, so let's go ahead and let Bree fight. Diglett. Yeah, let's do that. What do you have to say about it, Bree? You excited? Don't tell me you're holding something. 
Don't do this to me again, Bree. You and I will be on non-speaking terms the rest of the game if you do this to me, Bree. You're gonna give it to me, and you're gonna give it to me now. That's what I thought, Bree. Black fluff. Okay. That's <laughs> it's better than an eerie thing. Oh, man. No, you're holding something again? No, okay, I was gonna say. What do you have? You have a lick of tongue, don't you? Let's fight him. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Why am I an outsider? That's not nice, Shane. Shane! You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's fight. <laughs> he has a neat arena and a neat arena, which is strange because the guy inside of the cave had a neato king and a neato queen. You think it'd be swapped since this guy's a little bit further in the game. Although not much, he's a little bit further on, but whatever. Bree's gonna fight Nidorino. Yeah, alright, goodbye Nidorino. Uh, these trainers are very low level. This is going to be the case for basically the next couple of episodes. That's just how Heart Gold and Soul Silver is. The pacing of this game is horrible, but I should pick up over time. Okay. This guy, he is the one with the diglets. Diglet, I'm sorry. What's on the other side of Mount Mortar like? Do you know? What? Oh, what's the... What? What? I don't understand. Oh, what's the other side of Mount Mortar like? Do you know? Yeah, I know, Ben. Ben! Where's... Why don't you have a Pipla? That doesn't make sense, Ben. All right, let's do Surf. No? You're gonna growl at me? Slow down, Diglett. You don't growl at Bree. Bree growls at you. Are you new here? Are you new here? Bree does the growling and the roaring. You know what? I should teach Bree roar just because that's kind of the joke of the series. That sounds like a good idea. Not really. I'm not going to do that. That'd be silly. I do have a roar TM. And I'm curious. Can Quagsire learn roar? I don't really see why not. So I'm going to go ahead and look at that here in a minute. That's funny. Oh, man. All right, Bree, thank you for fighting this hiker. You know, I'm really mad at you, Ben. That's horrible. Doug Trio. Watch out, guys. Ben's pulling out all the stops. He's got a triple threat. Triple threat. Got it? It's because, it's because it's Doug Trio. Okay. It's pretty funny. Magnitude 8. Oh, man. That would have been devastating if I was, like, 10 levels lower. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, why are the trainers so badly paced? I get it. It's so you're at an adequate level for Kanto and stuff, but... Really, Red is like in the 80s. You think they could have did the pacing a little bit better with levels. I don't know. It's an old game. I get it. So, And here we are in Mahogany Town, which is really cool. Now, I'm not going to do anything else this episode, but we can check out the Pokemon we caught this episode. Nerds, the Flaffy, not nerds, uh, tuna salad that's going to be called mayo. But... Uh, I'm gonna do that after we go back a little bit. I want to surf west of Mahogany Town. There's an item I can grab, and there is also uh, something I can do with Cut. So I'm gonna grab Hecka out of the PC, my Cut, my Cut user, because I don't have anybody on the team that can learn Cut. And I will be right back. All right, guys. Now I know Mayo isn't actually a food, but it's like a dressing or a topping or whatever. But uh, if Mayo is added to the team and makes it to the end of the game. Uh, actually, I've never really confirmed this, but I do plan on doing a vlog with me eating my team after the series is over. And if Mayo happens to get on the team and make it to the end, I will um, spread mayonnaise on a piece of toast or something, I suppose. So, <laughs> that's the plan for that anyways. I'll have it figured out. But, yeah, if we come over here, you can grab a super potion. Is there any hidden items? There isn't. So, if you cut down this tree, there's actually an event here. That you need to do um, to get Suicune to go where you want to catch it. It doesn't matter. I can't catch it. Well, actually, I can, but I'm not going to. And after that, you see, you know, come up to you. He doesn't battle you here or anything. But like, Suicune, how brave it is. How refreshing it is. How beautiful it is. And how quickly it moves. Chroma, you seem to be around where a Suicune would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suicune is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into myths. I have heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Oh, Suicune, I won't stop following you until I find out what you're after. Do you hear me? Yeah, so I hate you, UC, and you killed two of my Pokemon because I misclicked a button. But, yeah, so there's some Apricorns here. I'll go ahead and pick these, and I'll see you guys when we go ahead and check out our Pokemon. All right, guys, so 
off screen while training last week when I was training Roast and Coleslaw. I actually caught two Pokemon that I didn't mention at all. Uh, I forgot about them completely. I caught Umibuto, which is actually Japanese. It is, let me look on my list really quick. Umibuto is many sea grapes or sea vegetables. So I actually did a reference here to a cloister I used in a wedlock of my own named Watercress. And this was the most similar thing I could get to Watercress. So we have a careful shell armor uh, shelter, which I guess that happens. <laughs> it has a pearl, which is cool. And, I, oh, I caught that. I didn't tell you guys where I caught that. That was caught. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, um, Route 27. So, oh, yeah, that was the route east of Newbark Town. So, boy, when you head to Kanto. And then I also caught my encounter in the Tojo Falls, which is right there. You can go there when you have surf. Caught it in a love ball. So, I did catch something in a love ball. I didn't know that. I forgot. Uh, a hasty tilapia, which is my goldine with water veil. So that's kind of cool. We have that. The reason I went and got my encounter there is because I'm never going to do that on screen. And by the time we get to the Tojo Falls, these Pokemon aren't really going to be useful. So might as well give them a chance to be added to the team now. And we have mayonnaise. It does fit. Mayonnaise, the Flaffy, which is careful. Great. <laughs> I think we're done here. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Nuzlocks, Wedlocks, or Pokemon Let's Plays, feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Let's see what Bree has to say. Actually, Pokemon seem to always be relaxing because they're in the Pokemon Center. Let's go outside. What do you have to say, Bree? Bree looks very happy. You know what? I'm very happy, too. This was a pretty great episode, I think. Thanks for watching.